palace has probably two or three different kinds of origins. There's the building itself, which is the rebuilt People's Palace. It was rebuilt after it had burned down in the 1930s. It had originally been created as a space in the late 19th century for uh, a mixture of education, entertainment and recreation for people here in the East End of London. It became then eventually part of what's now today Queen Mary University of London. So part of what we're doing uh, in this festival is trying in a 21st century context to do some of the things that we imagine having been part of the original experience of the People's Palace. Another origin is in work that Lois in particular has been doing here for many, many years, um, often in collaboration uh, with the Live Art Development Agency, curating programmes of live art and experimental performance, often by emerging artists, um, as well as residencies by a number of artists, often artists whose work uh, is not mainstream and is, often, is perhaps overlooked or, or ignored by, by people. So one of our aims, one of Lois's aims, in, in, in that sort of programming was to give a platform to experimental work that's unconventional and isn't so readily seen in, in London venues. I think the thing about this building is that I fell in love with it. Uh, I, when I came here in 1997 to start teaching, this place was used only uh, for graduation and for exams, and I fell in love with it as a theater because it has a rich, old history in the theater. It was built in 1937, and loads of people had performed here, and I could feel that presence, and I thought it was a shame that it wasn't being used for cultural uh, events. The People's Palace has within it an 800-seat proscenium arch theater, which is a quite extraordinary resource, um, which we started using in a kind of slightly under the radar way to begin with, with various performances both on the stage and in the auditorium. I performed here with my own company, Split Bridges. We did a, a Miss America, we did a piece called Lost Lounge. Dominic Johnson performed here with his piece. We just began to occupy it and try to populate it on a regular basis. It has enormous potential as a, a, a venue here in the East End of London, um, where actually spaces of this kind for, for that kind of work are pretty hard to find. About two years ago, they decided to put a lot of money into it and to renovate it, which was fantastic. Um, but, you know, I've been in a situation a lot as an artist where uh, we make a space look really, really valuable, and then people come in, put a lot of money into it, and then we don't have access to it any longer. Um, and they call that gentrification. So I was kind of afraid that might happen to this building. Um, so we really hung in there to try to make sure that we could keep this place open for art and performance and culture, but more than that, so that we could reopen it up to the community. With the space reopening after this refurbishment, our idea was to bring these strands of experimental performance and the longer, older historical strand of what the People's Palace had been in the 19th and early 20th century together in a festival um, designed to open up the space to a range of different communities, artistic communities, local communities, communities of thought and conversation. It was built for this community, it was built for the East End, it was built as a, a centre for entertainment, for culture, for leisure, for education, and I just felt like here we are in the middle of a university who, and we're dedicated to those things and we have this space that has this legacy uh, of having been that for the community that it was really important to get the people back into the palace. That's why we're here, that's what it means for us to be trying to people the palace, to put people back in, to open its doors so that it becomes a place that people of all kinds might want to come, to propose events for, to participate in. That's why we started peopling the palace as an opening celebration for um, the, the new building and as a means of occupying it further so that we can carry on doing these kind of events, art, culture, education, leisure, dancing, tea dancing into the future.